I knew we were going to win. I could just feel it. Every time you buy a raffle ticket, you're sure you're going to win. Well, this time I was right. Besides, you two skeptics made out pretty well. We share the ticket, remember? I can't believe it's only third prize. It's a used, stuffed stegosaurus. Michael Jackson owned this animal. He donated it to the school raffle. Oh, you can feel the energy. I bet he cuddled it once. Or at least talked to it. Something special has happened to us and you don't appreciate it. Oh, I like it. It's kind of cute. The prehistoric look. Yeah, I kind of like it too. Even though it is previously owned. So who gets to keep it? Why don't we flip a coin? Oh, a three-sided coin? Yeah, we could try time sharing. We could each take turns keeping it a week at a time. Oh, you can't treat an animal like that. It'll get neurotic. No, you're both being too sentimental. Besides, there is a way we could all get a cut of the action. You're terrible. <laughs> well, buying the ticket was my idea. So why don't I keep the beast? And that'll save us from what I can tell is going to be a painful decision. <sighs> That's not fair. Well, there is a fair way to figure it out. There you go. What's this? A pen. Now, the first thing you have to do is decide how much this is worth to you. It's priceless. It can't be priceless. I mean, would you pay a million dollars for this? Whose idea was it to get a roommate in business school? Anyway, I don't have a million dollars. Exactly. Now, I'm sorry to sound so cold-blooded. But just write down what you think this is really worth. And don't lose your head, because you might have to back up your bid with some cash. These are the dollar values chosen. The numbers reflect the different personal worth of the prize to each roommate. Since Ooh, Terry values sure. the animal most highly, yours. <laughs> have a nice day. She gets it. To make things fair, though, she has to compensate the others. To figure out how much Terry should pay, we have to take a closer look at what the valuations mean. Mary Jo, for example, would be willing to buy or sell the prize for $3. But as an equal partner, she already owns one-third of the prize. Her stake, then, has a personal worth of one-third of three, or one dollar. Already owning one dollar's worth of the prize, Mary Jo would be willing to shell out an additional two dollars in cash to become the sole owner. Now once the prize is given to Terry, and before any payments are made, here's how everyone is doing. Mary Jo feels slighted by a dollar, Beth by three. But Terry has the animal, so she has forty-two dollars of value when she only felt due fourteen dollars. By her own account, Terry's up twenty-eight dollars. The first thing for Terry to do is to pay the others what they felt they were due. Terry pays out four dollars, one dollar to Mary Jo, and three dollars to Beth. Mary Jo and Beth are now even, but Terry's still ahead by twenty-four dollars. So the next step is to divide Terry's surplus by three and give everyone a share. That is, Terry gives eight dollars to Mary Jo, and eight dollars to Beth. This is now a fair division. Terry gets the prize and pays twenty dollars, nine dollars to Mary Jo, and eleven dollars to Beth. So they both end up with eight dollars more than what they judge their fair share to be. And what about Terry? She's the proud owner of an animal that to her is worth forty-two dollars. The twenty dollars she paid out is a bargain, even when you figure in her initial stake. In fact, Terry comes out $8 ahead, dead even with her roommates. All three are equally happy about the deal. So, no hard feelings? No. No, <laughs> no problem. problem. Well, you can borrow it for special occasions. And I'd be happy to lend you a buck or two whenever you need it. Hello? Yes, it is. Are you serious? We've just won something. Oh. Oh, I see. We've just won a discount. 
for animal restuffing. Perfect. This old lizard is past his prime. Not so fast. That's everyone's phone. We won this together. Yeah, come on. Come on, it'll be easy the second time around.